So I think you know we can support uh, creativity and innovation through a variety of approaches, and people talk about problem-based learning, problem-solving teaching, uh, there are a variety. So uh, first of all, problem-based learning. The caution that I would make, and, and if you look at John Hattie's research in visible learning, he actually shows that project-based learning has a low impact, actually doesn't have the payoff that we want. But he shows that pro uh, problem-solving teaching has a high payoff. Now sometimes this is a bit of semantics, so we'll just you know, clarify that. If I give kids a problem to solve, say there's your problem, where you go, go solve it, kids get overwhelmed and lost and they're not sure where to go. Okay? This is where my caution is to teachers, and that's why I often use the term choreographing the learning. Uh, we used to talk about teacher as sage on the stage. We want to move away from sage on the stage. At times that gets displaced by teacher as guide on the side. Guide on the side, there's your problem, go solve it, I'll come around and see how you're doing. We often see in the research there, that doesn't have the payoff we wanted because kids get lost, overwhelmed, frustrated, it takes way too much time. But what if I choreograph that? So what if the problem comes first, like a project-based learning? But as a teacher, I consciously am building those intellectual tools, the background kids need, the criteria they'll use, providing them thinking strategies. So the project or the problem to solve drives the learning, but the teacher carefully choreographs the experiences for kids to help ensure that they're staying on track and they're being successful. So I think project-based learning, if those intellectual tools are being taught, supported, I have seen project-based learning where they're not, and, and kids get overwhelmed and frustrated. So I think it's, it's, it's a matter of saying, have we framed that project in a way that invites innovation and creativity and critical thinking? Have we choreographed the learning to support kids on that journey? Then it's powerful. If we don't do that, you'll find that we're sorting kids again. So my, my caution is that we have to build a level playing field by building the tools that all kids need.